Our Torah reading this morning is called the Akedah, the binding, the binding of Isaac, where Abraham binds his son Isaac on an altar to prepare to sacrifice him to God. Abraham heard that command from God, saying, take your son, take your only son, the one whom you love, Isaac, and offer him up for me as a sacrifice. And Abraham, according to traditional commentators, is to be praised because he does so without any hesitation at all. Abraham willingly, faithfully obeys the voice of God. I've usually read it uh, pretty differently. I'm kind of horrified at it. That Abraham would hear a voice saying to kill his own son. And before questioning that voice and saying, hey, hold on a second, that's not right. Abraham instead doesn't bat an eyelash. He takes his son Isaac and he does just what he's heard. And I've really struggled with that. How could he? How could he not stand up and fight for his son, even if it's a losing fight? Just because God is saying it doesn't mean it's the correct thing to do. This year, though, perhaps we can find a little bit of renewed message in that traditional interpretation, that sometimes we're asked to give things up that we really don't want to give up. Thank God nobody's being commanded to sacrifice children anymore. In fact, that's the traditional interpretation, is that actually God doesn't want us to sacrifice children. But at the same time, we can read this and I think identify with a story where people are asked to give up something that they love. Because ever since this pandemic has begun, it's, that's what it's felt like. That we're constantly being asked to give up important, special things in our lives. Not little things, big things. It's hard to see people that we love and that we care about, especially if they don't live nearby. Traveling is all sorts of risk. Gathering in large groups of people is a large risk. Depending on the individual and their own particular situation, seeing anybody out of their household still presents too great a risk for them. And so we give these things up, not because we want to give them up, but because if we don't, we're told that we could be risking not just our health, but perhaps the health of and the lives of people that we care about and we love, or perhaps even strangers if we don't take care. And so as we read this Torah portion about giving up something that we love, something special and unique to us, perhaps we can find renewed meaning in that traditional interpretation. That we do give things up, not because it's a good thing just to give it up by itself, but rather because there's something larger and something bigger, a greater purpose behind that sacrifice. And so perhaps like Abraham, we can say, at least for now, we're temporarily willing to give up things that are special to us, things that we love in the name of the greater good. We continue now with our Torah reading, the Akedah.